Hi everybody. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work today. <laughs> um, again, I've tried on the new live producer and it still didn't work for me. So hopefully uh, you can see me on this version. Uh, so here we go. Yes, I should be going live. I should be live. Got one person watching. Hi. Welcome to Grey Cells for Gaga. Welcome to our virtual pub quiz. Um, having some difficulties with the new version. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it. Um, but anyway, we're back on the old version um, until they can sort out what's going on with the new version for us. So thank you very much um, for joining. Sorry it's an hour later and got myself mixed up and accepted another meeting um, uh, thinking that the other meeting was starting at eight and I could do this quiz first. And then when I actually looked at it today, I realized it was the other way around. So, not very good. Anyway, hello, hello. We have the Thorntons, we have Mark Hewitt, we have the Watleys, we have the Mitchintons. Fantastic, excellent, great to see you guys. Um, thank you very much for joining and thank you very much for um, giving me, oh, there we go. Oh, back in the bongo, back in the bongo for the Mitchintons. Oh, and three brain cells, oh, not three brain cells, three brains, I should say, working together fantastic okay that's great we might have another few joining in a little while so we'll just leave it just a few more minutes um, before we start the quiz and we've gone with the same um, format again it's just going to be four rounds all all mishmashed up so no specialist subjects nothing that's going to uh, get you stuck in a rut with any particular subject that you hate models are there that's fantastic lovely Hi guys, hi, and I expect the Morrisons will be along in a very, very short space of time. So this is, I've got a completely different screen tonight. I've got all of the comments and um, for some reason are all on my right hand side. Um, and um, previously they were all on the left hand side. So don't quite know what's going on. Obviously, uh, Facebook are doing something to work on their live streaming and maybe trying to improve it. Not sure it's working. Anyway, never mind. So here we are. Hopefully you can all hear me. Let's get going. Round one. Are you ready? Right. So for the first question in round one, I'm going to start you hard. I'm really going to start you hard because I need two answers from you for this question. So two names are required to get the full points on this question. So who wrote the music and lyrics for the musical Evita? Who wrote the music and lyrics for the musical Evita? And you need to give me the two names, the two people. Okay, just wondering where, oh, there we go. Oh, Carolyn's in, excellent. Good to see you, Carolyn. Just trying to look to see where my clock was on this new screen and it's that's moved as well. So that's up in the that corner. <laughs> okay, so question one, round one, who wrote the music and the lyrics for the musical Evita? Question number two, and this is a true or false question. True or false? Madagascar has no poisonous snakes. Is that true or false? Madagascar has no poisonous snakes. True or false? Oh, Chris. Hi, Chris. Glad you could join. This is great. Excellent. And Irene, Irene's home alone. <laughs> oh, Irene, did you get did you get the answer to round to question number one of round one? Maybe you did. Maybe you did. And the Morrisons are in as well. Fantastic. So we're just on round one. Question number two is a true or false? Madagascar has no poisonous snakes. Is that true or false? Right. Are we ready? Question number three. Deep Thought was an IBM produced chess computer 
named after the supercomputer in which famous work of fiction? Deep Thought was an IBM produced chess computer named after the supercomputer in which famous work of fiction? Okay. How are we doing? So far, round one, we've had three questions. Don't worry if you joined a little bit late, I'll go over all of the questions of the first round just before giving you the answers at the end of the round. And as always, if you want to, uh, is it the film or the island? Oh, haha, very good question, Douglas. Yes, Madagascar, the island, the island. It's the, so that was question number two. That was in reference to question number two. True or false, Madagascar has no poisonous snakes. And that is actually Madagascar, the real place, the island. Sorry, I missed, uh, I missed that comment. I don't know whether it came through slowly or I just didn't scroll up. Anyway, okay, so question number four from the first round. What is the official unit used for measuring the depth of water? What is the official unit for measuring the depth of water? Oh, you lost me. Did you? Okay. Did you? Did you lose me on a question? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Douglas. I'm taking this 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 quiz uh, master bit a bit too seriously. So, didn't realise it was a joke. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. If you lost me, I'll go back over the questions um, in the first uh, for the first round at the end, just in case you missed one. Okay, are we ready? Question number five from round one. Lech Wałęsa became president of Poland. The first showing of Have I Got News For You was on BBC TV. Nelson Mandela was released. All new cars in Europe had to be capable of running on unleaded petrol. But what was the year. So all of those events happened in the same year. What was it? Carol, Carol, I don't need you to put the answer on the comments. If you write the answer down, then we'll give you the answers and you mark yourself at the end. Um, because if you put the comments on the answer, on, on, on the answer on the comments, everybody's going to get them. <laughs> Whether they're right or wrong, just saying. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go through that again. So all of these events, all of these activities happened in the same year. So I'm looking for the year as the answer. Lech Wałęsa became president of Poland. The first showing of Have I Got News For You was on BBC television. Nelson Mandela was released. And all new cars in Europe had to be capable of running on unleaded petrol. But what was the year? Thanks, Carol. Okay. Okay, we've got another multiple choice question now. Question number six. What was on board the first ever hot air balloon flight back in 1783? So what was on board the first ever hot air balloon flight back in 1783. Was it A, three murderers? Was it B, three animals? Was it C, three brothers? Or was it D, three dummies? So what was on board the first ever hot air balloon flight back 
in 1783? Was it A, three murderers, B, three animals, C, three brothers, or D, three dummies? Cheers, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Here we are again. Okay. Question number seven. Who was the lead singer with the Bay City Rollers? Who was the lead singer with the Bay City Rollers? Little bit of thinking time there. Cast your minds back. And this one finally for Julia. Medical question. <laughs> sort of biology. True for most vertebrates, which organ produces bile? So this is true for most vertebrates, which organ produces bile and that's question number eight of the first round hi Barney thanks for joining so we've just gone through the first round we've gone through the first eight questions I'm going to run through all of those questions again so if you've just joined or you missed any uh, just at the beginning um, I think we had a few connection issues I can see that the numbers are dropping in and out a little bit tonight. Um, hopefully you'll catch the questions as I go round. So round one, question one. Who wrote the music and the lyrics for the musical Evita? And the two names are required here for the full point. Question number two, true or false, Madagascar has no poisonous snakes. Is that true or false? Question number three. Deep Thought was an IBM produced chess computer named after the supercomputer in which famous work of fiction? Question number four. What is the official unit for measuring the depth of water? Question number five. Lech Wałęsa became president of Poland. The first showing of Have I Got News For You was on BBC television. Nelson Mandela was released and all new cars in Europe had to be capable of running on unleaded fuel. But what was the year? Question number six. What was on board the first ever hot air balloon flight back in 1783? Was it A, three murderers, B, three animals, C, three brothers, or D, three dummies? Question number seven. Who was the lead singer with the Bay City Rollers? And finally in round one, question number eight. True for most vertebrates, which organ produces bile? Okay, a few more seconds just to think about those. Double check your answers. Maybe argue with each other. Are we ready for the answers? Here we go. So Evita was written, the music was by 
Andrew Lloyd Webber and the lyrics were by Tim Rice. So we're looking for Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Madagascar has in fact got one poisonous snake. So the answer is false. It has one poisonous snake. Deep Thought was the computer, the supercomputer in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Question number four. Water is officially measured in the meter, a meter. It's not the fathom because the fathom is the old imperial measurement and now the official measurement is meter. And the year we were looking for was 1990. 1990 when all of those events took place. The first hot air balloon flight, the answer is B, it contained three animals. The answer is B. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. And Bay City Rollers lead singer was Les McEwen. Les McEwen. And the organ that produces bile is the liver. It is stored in the gallbladder, but the liver produces the bile. How did we go, guys? Tot up those answers and see who's first to declare. Hope you all got those answers. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to repeat. Four. Four from the Watleys. Anybody else willing to say? Oh, there we go. Oh, two from the Mitchinsons. Oh, dear, Mark. A pathetic one. Three for Irene. Oh, Mark. Irene, you beat Mark. <laughs> oh, Stuart's inquiry on the C measurement. Okay, five and four for the Morrisons. Well, yeah, apparently the fathom is the imperial measurement. The official, that was the key word, the official unit is the meter. Okay, four, no, Carol, four is very respectable, very respectable. And Barney's not saying, okay, let's just brush over that then. Let's see how we get on with round two. Round two, are you ready? Question number one. Which fat, jolly, and somewhat disreputable character appears in Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth and the Merry Wives of Windsor? Which fat, jolly, and somewhat disreputable character appears in Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth and the Merry Wives of Windsor? Oh, five from Carolyn next door. Excellent. So, brush up your Shakespeare. <laughs> Excellent. Question number two. In rugby union, who captained England in the 1995 World Cup? In Rugby Union, who captained England in the 1995 World Cup? Serena should remember that one. A few seconds of thinking time and let's go straight into question number three. So 
Who said in 1987, I'm in a no-win situation and quite honestly I can tell you I've just got a good mind to take the easy way out. That's the bottom line. So who said in 1987, I'm in a no-win situation and quite honestly I can tell you that I've just got a good mind to take the easy way out. That's the bottom line. Who said that? 1987. I was quite surprised at that one actually. Okay, moving forward a few years, not many, but a few. Between the years of 1999 and 2006, which singer sold the most amount of albums worldwide? So between the years of 1999 and 2006, which singer sold the most amount of albums worldwide? There we go. How's your, how's, your, how's your early noughties music is the question. So that's halfway through the second round. Ready for question number five. What was the very first cargo to be regularly transported by train in Germany? What was the very first cargo to be regularly transported by train in Germany? Okay. And now we're going to have a few foodie questions just because, you know, it's always nice, isn't it? always nice to have some foodie questions. Question number six. What general name is given to Indian food cooked in a clay oven? What general name is given to Indian food cooked in a clay oven? Okay, question number seven. What distinguishes guru I'm not gonna be able to say this, guru <laughs> what distinguishes Gruya cheese from most other cheeses? I knew I was gonna stumble over that one. What distinguishes the worst the worst the more you think about it, the harder it is. What distinguishes gru <laughs> What distinguishes Gruyere cheese from most other cheeses? Sorry, I just knew I was going to stumble over that one. <laughs> the more you think about it, the harder it is to say. <laughs> Bizarrely. <laughs> oh dear. And question number eight, the final question in round two. Another foodie one. From what continent does couscous originate? From what continent does couscous originate? Okay, there we are. We're halfway through. We're rattling through halfway. Let's go over those questions of round two once again, just in case you missed any along the way. So question number one, which fat jolly and somewhat disreputable character appears in Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth and the Merry Wives of Windsor. Oh hi Doug, good to see you. We're just on round two, I'm just going through the questions one more time. Question number two, in Rugby Union 
who captained England in the 1995 World Cup? Question number three. Who said in 1987, I'm in a no-win situation and quite honestly, I can tell you, I've just got a good mind to take the easy way out. That's the bottom line. Question number four, between the years 1999 and 2006, which singer has sold the most albums worldwide? Question number seven, what was the very first cargo to be regularly transported by train in Germany? Question number six, what general name is given to food or Indian food cooked in a clay oven? I need to get my fringe kites. <laughs> Question number seven, what distinguishes that cheese, Gruyere cheese, from most other cheeses, apart from the fact that I can't say it? And question number eight, from which continent does couscous originate? Okay. Give you a couple of seconds just to catch up in, just in case you missed any of those, and then we'll belt through the answers. So that Shakespearean character we were looking for is Sir John Falstaff. Sir John Falstaff. I will just take Falstaff if that's what you have. That rugby captain, 1995, Will Carling. And in 1987, the person in the no-win situation was Prince Charles. Oh, looks like some people got that one. Excellent. In question number four, the singer who sold the most albums between 1999 and 2006, none other than Brittany Spears. Oh, yes, we're getting some answers. We're getting some hearts going up. That's great. The very first cargo that was uh, regularly transported by train in Germany was beer. And the name given to Indian food cooked in a clay oven is tandoori. That Swiss cheese, what distinguishes it is the fact that it has got big, big holes in it. It's the holes in the cheese that make it um, different from other cheeses. And finally, couscous comes from Africa, specifically North Africa, but the continent is Africa. Okay. How was that one? of a mix but hopefully enough for some of you to get some decent scores. Start to see those scores rolling up as soon as you're ready. Is there any that anybody would like me to give you the answer to again? Halfway through the quiz uh, just had the answers to round two halfway through and we will be starting on round three just as soon as we get a few. Hey Doug, thumbs up. I'm getting a lot more interaction on the comments this one actually. Oh, there we go. Four from Mick Watley, four from Serena, slightly improved four from Mark. Oh, four, four and four from Carol. Four, four looks like a solid, a solid answer, a solid response to round two. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Oh, five again. Of course, of course, Margaret. Yeah, the rugby question. Excellent. And six, six from the Morrisons. Oh, yeah, Barney, Barney, four. Okay. Excellent. Good. Right. We're really hotting up now. Anybody else want to declare? No. <laughs> okay. Are we ready then? Let's go straight into round three. And round three, I've started it again. I, I've, I've got stuck on these food questions. So the first question in round three, what sort of meat is used in the Greek dish, kleftiko? 
what sort of meat is used in the Greek dish Kleftiko? Oh, Carolyn, Carolyn didn't do so well with round two. Maybe round three will be better for you, Carolyn. Okay, question number one of round three. What sort of meat is used in the Greek dish Kleftiko? Question number two. Name the three counties that Ian Botham played cricket for. Ian Botham. Name the three counties that Ian Botham played cricket for. Okay, question number three. I like this question. I saw it and I thought, yes, I like this one. Question number three. What should you not enumerate before they incubate? What should you not enumerate before they incubate? Question number four. What category of questions are yellow in the game Trivial Pursuit? What category of questions are yellow in the game Trivial Pursuit, the board game? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now the next four questions are up, on, or under. So for each of the following countries, state whether it is above, on, or under the equator. Are you ready? So India, is it above, on, or under the equator? Question number six, Kenya, is it above, on, or under the equator? Oh, I've lost a few people on this question. <laughs> I can see. Okay, bit of thinking time. Question number seven. Brazil. Is it above, on, or under the equator? And finally, question number eight. Angola. Is it above, on or below the equator? So I'll just go through those four again because that's quite, they're quite difficult. So what we're looking for, is it above, on or below the equator? Question number five, India. Above, on or below? Question number six, Kenya. Is it above, on or below? Question number seven, Brazil, is it above, on or below? And finally, Angola, is it above, on or below the equator? Quite tough, quite tough. Unless you happen to have a globe <laughs> in your living room. Okay, so that's round three, done and dusted. Did I have quite enough questions there? Yeah, I must have done. It seemed to go quite quickly. Okay, so let's just go through those questions again of round three. Question number one of round three, what sort of meat is used in the Greek dish Kleftiko? Question number two, name the three counties Ian Botham played cricket for. Question number three, what should you not enumerate before they incubate? Question number four, what category of questions are yellow in Trivial Pursuit? Question number five, and these are the above, on or below the equator questions. Number five is India. Number six is Kenya. Number seven is Brazil. And number eight is Ang Angola. So are they above, on, or below the equator? India, Kenya, Brazil, Angola. Okay. <laughs> I 
There we go. Rattling through that round number three. Pretty tough on the old geography there, I'm afraid. Let's see. Let's see how we did. So let's go through with the answers. So round three, question one. The meat we're looking for in that Greek dish, kleftiko, is lamb. Lamb. Ian Botham played for Somerset, Durham and Worcestershire. Somerset, Durham and Worcestershire. And my nice little question you should not enumerate before they incubate is of course your chickens. You should not count your chickens before they hatch. Sorry, just like that one. Okay, and in Trivial Pursuit, you collect the little yellow piece of pie for answering a history question. History. And then these geography questions. India is above, above the equator. Kenya is on the equator. Brazil is on the equator. And Angola is below the equator. So we're looking for above, on, on and below. Smiley face? Sad face? What do we think? How did it go? How did it go? Round three. You'll be pleased to know that actually when I was looking at the questions today, there was actually eight that were all about whether something was on, above or below the equator. And I thought I wouldn't be that cruel to you. How many for the cricket clubs? Oh, wow. Let's have a look. Well, there's mm, there's three. I guess I guess if you get two out of three, you can have half. Is that, is that really mean? Or maybe you can have one, one, one point for each. And then if somebody got three, they can get three points. So you can do it that way if you want to. Started well, faded quickly. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, nice. Mitchinson's five. Excellent. And uh, won't even ask, Irene. Won't even ask. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Bring back, bring back Graham. All is forgiven, Graham. Okay. Well, time, time to get those scores up to speed um, to gain back a little bit of uh, momentum, hopefully, with round four. Round four, final round in our quiz tonight, round four. Are you ready? Are your pencil sharpened? Have you topped up your bowl of crisps? Oh, three, three from next door. Okay, that was tough. Was that a toughy one? Oh, three, oh, two. Miss Worcester, okay, okay. That's not bad, Irene. Two's not bad. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine, Mick. So if you got it with with the with Ian Botham question, then you can give yourself um, a point for each county. That's fine. So if you got if you got two out of three, you can give yourself two points. If you got three out of three, you get the full three points. So that might up some of your some of your uh, totals if I do it that way. Okay. Final round, round four. Final round in our quiz tonight. And we start with a song. Luckily, I'm not going to be singing it. Are you ready? Question number one. Which Beatles chart topper contains the line, she's a big teaser, she took me half the way there? Which Beatles chart topper contains the line, she's a big teaser, she took me half the way there? Oh, five. Five from the Morrisons. Very good. You've had a strong round tonight, Morrisons. Good. Question number two. What time of day is palindromic? What time of day is palindromic? I think we had a question about palindromes uh, quite 
early on in this uh, this little round of quizzes. So if you if you've been here from the beginning, you might remember that, and it might ring a bell or two. So what we're looking for now is what time of day is palindromic. Question number three. On an aircraft. What man's name is usually given to the automatic pilot? On an aeroplane, what man's name is usually given to the autopilot or the automatic pilot? Okay, how are we doing? Halfway through the final round of the night, here we have question number four. And this is very, very topical for the, uh, for the, for the moment, actually, because we're seeing these. Oh, well, I'm, no, I can't because I'll give, you, I'll give the answer away. Right. Scratch that. OK. Richard of York gave battle in vain is a mnemonic for what? I think I've just given it away. Never mind. Richard of York gave battle in vain is a mnemonic for what? Cricket helped. <laughs> Question number five in round number four. What name is given to the serpent or dragon reputed to kill with a single look? What name is given to the serpent or dragon reputed to kill with a single look? So I think this creature is sort of part serpent, part dragon. Single look. Question number six. What noun describes a flat grassland of tropical or subtropical regions. What noun describes a flat grassland of tropical or subtropical regions? Question number seven. Who lived in the bottom of a pillar box at 221C Baker Street? Who lived at the bottom of a pillar box at 221C Baker Street? And finally, the last question in tonight's quiz, round four, question number eight. Which famous cricket umpire's autobiography was entitled White Cap and Bales? Which famous cricket umpire's autobiography was entitled White Cap and Bales? Right, let's go back through those questions for round number four, just in case you missed any along the way. Question number one, which Beatles chart topper contains the line, she's a big teaser, she took me half the way there? Question number two, what time of day is palindromic? Question number three, on an aircraft, what man's name is usually given to the automatic pilot? Question number four. Richard of York gave battle in vain is a mnemonic for what? Question number five. What name is given to the serpent dragon reputed to kill with a single look? Question number six, what noun describes a flat grassland of tropical or subtropical regions?
Question number seven. Who lived in the bottom of a pillar box at 221 Baker Street? And finally, which famous cricket umpire's autobiography was entitled White Cap and Bales? Is the palindrome written? Yes, the palindrome is written. It is written. It's the word for the time of day. Yeah, so it's not, we're not looking for numbers, it's, it's a word. Okay. That was question number two. What time of day is, the, is palindromic and it's, it's a written word, it's not a number. Okay, are we ready then? Let's have a look at these answers. Let's see how, how we all got on. So the Beatles song that we were looking for there was Day Tripper, Day Tripper. The palindromic time of day is noon. N-O-O-N is the same forwards as it is backwards. Palindromic. The automatic pilot is usually, apparently, called George. I might need to be stand corrected by George, but apparently, according to my quiz, it's usually called George. And question number four, the colours of the rainbow. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. The colours of the rainbow. And that's why. Oh, Eve. Oh, yeah, not bad, Eve. But do we really say Eve? I don't know. Are we allowed to have Eve for the time of day? It's more really evening, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe half a point for Eve, I don't know. Maybe I could be really kind and give you a point. Okay, and that serpent dragon that kills with a look, a single look, is the basilisk. The basilisk. The grassland is the savannah. And Danger Mouse lives at the bottom of the pillar box on Baker Street. And finally, the cricket umpire is Dickie Bird. Dickie Bird. Okay, that's the quiz for tonight. Brett says no. Brett says no what? Says no to what? The name of the automatic pilot. I don't know. I don't know which I don't know which answer you're disputing. Answer number five. The basilisk. Five to finish. Five to finish from the Mitchinsons. Okay, Eve, or well, both of you have had Eve, so you can have Eve. If you had Eve for the palindromic time of day, you can have Eve, because two of you have had Eve. Eve noon, okay. I'll I'll get that. I'll I'll give that. I think it's called Fred. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we have to <laughs> maybe we have to take a judgment on, on on. Sounds like we've got a lot of dispute going on on the <laughs> on the on the answers to this quiz. This quiz. So <sighs> sorry. Okay. Wow. Well, there we go. There we go. Oh, six. Excellent. Excellent. Five and a half or six. Suddenly got an extra point for, for having Eve because I've given you a full point for Eve now. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it this evening um, and I will endeavour to, um, to double check, triple check my, fact check my answers in time for Thursday's quiz and if, as always, if there is anything um, that has been disputed, um, Fathom, I think, um, with some questions about whether it was meter or still fathom as the official measure um, and also uh, the uh, basilisk as the uh, serpent that, that reputedly kills with a single look. Um, I will 
check those and if they are wrong I shall humbly apologize on Thursday back to our normal time on Thursday seven o'clock um, thank you very much for accommodating the change tonight I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I hope I will see you again soon thank you very much everybody have the rest of a great evening thanks for joining bye thank you bye guys <laughs>